headlines across America and Europe, as well as in Ukraine, are speculating Russia is on the brink of getting involved in Crimea. Some are directly linking Russia's snap military drills with the tense situation on the peninsula. However, Russian military officials have denied there is any connection, saying the maneuvers are being held hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away and are simply routine. There have also been alarming reports of the Russian military moving its troops around Crimea. Moscow's explanation is that they are unarmed regular forces serving at the local Russian Navy base that has been permanently stationed in Sevastopol for decades. NATO and EU officials have regardless sent warning signals to the Russian government. And for more on the reaction coming from the West, let's now cross live to RT's Lucy Kafanov, who is in Berlin right now. So, Lucy, what are you hearing? Um, what are the latest? statements rather you're hearing from abroad. Hi there. Well, a unified message from NATO defense minister um, uh, defense ministers urging to keep post-revolutionary Ukraine in one piece, a message for, of alarm. Uh, we did hear from Anders Fogh Rasmussen, the NATO secretary general, who urged Russia not to do anything that would, quote, escalate tension or create misunderstanding. He later told a meeting of the NATO Ukraine Commission, which is presently uh, having a, a get together in Brussels, that the latest developments in the Crimea were dangerous and irresponsible. He did go on to also also call on Kiev authorities to lead the country forward in what he called an inclusive political process. The Polish foreign minister also showed alarm over the developments in that part of Ukraine, referring to the seizure of government buildings as a, quote, very dangerous game. And of course, the new German defense minister also weighing in at her very first NATO summit. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. The situation in the Ukraine, particularly in Crimea, fills us with great concern. It is of the utmost importance that we prevent a breakup of the Ukraine and that special forces in the country are strengthened. So NATO defense ministers, as you heard, they're unified in their alarm over the developments. Now, as you heard from my colleague Igor Piskunov, the Crimea was, of course, part of Russia until 1954 and remains home to Russia's Black Sea Fleet. Ukraine itself, of course, had been caught between Russia and the West since the dissolution of the Soviet Union uh, back in 1991. In 1997, we did see NATO uh, essentially work to set up a special joint commission with Ukraine to oversee relations, uh, possibly paving a way forward. Uh, for membership. And later in 2008, there was an agreement that Kiev could eventually be considered for NATO membership, but that had been put to rest since. So a lot of questions now about whether Ukraine will effectively revisit the issue with the change in power and the upheaval that we've seen over in that country. Back to you. Oh, she's Lucy Kavanagh, live from Berlin. Lucy, many thanks indeed for that.